Question number 88 is from logic gate and as I was saying in the previous cases, this is also the topic which is present only in JE main and not in advance. So in this situation, you could again see that the examination is focusing on its distinctiveness. So that part should always be borne in mind. Now here, A, B, C, D are inputs to gate and X is the output. Now, if you're not used to reading these sort of pulse, it's quite simple. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 in that way. Now, here see, 0, 0, 0, 0, when four inputs are 0, the output is 0. Now, at the second pulse, try to see, 1, 0, 0, 0. For this, this is 0 and this is 1. The output is 1. In that way, you have to interpret. Now, you got to see which of these four options, there should be one possible gate which satisfies for these waveforms and that is what we have to choose. It can't be AND because the property of AND is if any of the input is low, the output would be low. While here you could see here this is low and this is high, low, low, but the output is high. So it can't be AND. It can't be NOT at all because for NOT, that's a simple function. There's one input and one output, so that's not valid must be OR. Reason for OR if any of the inputs is high, the total output would be high. And here that's what's happening. In the first case, all the inputs were zero, low. So the output was zero. But after that, see, in any of the situation, you would always find one input to be high because here this is high, low, low, low. Here if you see, this is low, this is high, low, low. So you could keep on verifying that at a given instant, after this, there's always a situation where one of the inputs is high and the output is also high beyond it. So this is purely a waveform for OR gate. So these are the inputs for the OR and this is the output. This is question number 88. Now let's go to question number 89. Question number 89 is from transistor, again, another feature and another question from semiconductor topic. It says, for a common emitter configuration, the incorrect relationship between alpha and beta, we need to calculate. So in order to calculate the incorrect relationship, let's try to see IE is IB plus IC, the emitter current, base current and the collector current. This will be IE by IC is IB by IC plus 1. And that's the definition of alpha, IC by IE. That's the definition of beta. And now here it is. Right from here, you could see that fourth option is matching. But we are not allowed to choose it because we have to choose the incorrect option. And from this, saying fourth and two is equivalent the same. So here, the incorrect options are option number one and option number three. Again here, although the examination format is to choose one option, but here we are getting two options. So this is also a small part that has to be rectified. That was question number 89. Now we'll go to question number 90. All right, the final question for this discussion session Question number 90, which has been brought from gravitation and related to satellite. There's a satellite which is revolving at a height h, but the condition is given h is very, very less than the radius of the earth. So in that case, even the distance of the satellite from the center can be taken as r. The figure is not to be scaled. Now it says the minimum increase in orbital velocity so that the satellite could escape from earth's gravitational field. Now the Question is again directly formula based. The orbital velocity is root of gr. That comes out to be the case. But of course, this is the situation when it is revolving at a height which is very close. In fact, where does it come from? Vo is root gm by r. But in this case, since it's revolving very close to the earth, gm can be written as g capital R square. That's a common fact where g is the acceleration at the surface. This to be equals to this, there is no requirement that the satellite should be very close. It's a universal fact. But yes, 
This is the gravity acceleration at the surface. But downstairs would be R. Because small r would almost be equals to capital R. So that's the orbital velocity for that condition. And the escape velocity is root of 2gr. Now, you see, escape velocity by definition is the minimum velocity so that a satellite would escape. So we'll also be justifying the word minimum. Now, right now it has this much velocity and if it acquires this minimum velocity, it would escape the gravitational field. But yes, greater than this would also do. But we require the minimum one, so the increase would be root 2 gr minus of root gr. And that exactly resembles option number 3. So, dear students, this is all for this particular session where we discussed the question of JEE Mains Physics 2016. Hope this question and discussion session was very helpful for you. I wish you a great luck ahead. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.